everyone, Daisy here, welcome to my channel. Now anyone who watches my live streams on my other channel will know that I have two beautiful Siberian cats named Rafita and Vladimir, and they're pretty much the joy of my life. And naturally, when I announced I was creating this my second channel and asked for some content suggestions, one of the topics that came up was content about Rafita and Vladimir. I mean, who doesn't love seeing cute animal content on YouTube, especially when the world is uh, going to hell in a handbasket? But the thing is, Siberian cats aren't just your regular breed of cat. They have a lot of qualities about them that make them quite unusual, actually, and that certainly I found really interesting when I was researching how they go as pets. They are certainly an ancient breed of cat with a history in the harsh Russian winters, hence the long, dense, triple layer waterproof coats, going back right to the year 1000. And trust me, they make wonderful pets. So what I wanted to do today was create a kind of informational video, I suppose, not just about Rafita and Vladimir, but Siberian cats generally for anyone who may be considering getting a pet, but isn't quite sure where to start. I mean, pets have been very very popular throughout this pandemic and they have provided just terrific comfort for so many people stuck at home in lockdown. So here are some fun facts about Siberian cats featuring my Siberian cats and stick around until the end because of course I have included an epic video montage of Rafita and Vladimir from when they were only a few weeks old to almost two years later. Enjoy! Number one, they are hypoallergenic. Yep, everyone, there is a breed of cat that is hypoallergenic. So basically, um, what makes people allergic to cats isn't fur. You know, there's a common misconception that what makes people sneeze and cough, etc., is that there's too much fur coming from the cat. It is actually a protein in the cat's saliva that people are allergic to. So obviously, they lick themselves, it gets caught in their fur and the dander, they shed, and that's what me makes people cough and sneeze, etc. But Siberian cats don't produce anywhere near as much of that protein in their saliva as other breeds of cats do. So when they're cleaning themselves, uh, it doesn't end up on the fur. So the allergen isn't there. And in addition to that, Siberian cats don't have dander because, you know, since they evolved for, you know, a thousand years in harsh, rotten win harsh Russian winters, dander would have stuck to their fur, frozen with the saliva, and created a kind of layer that would weigh them down in the snow. So it's not good for them on an evolutionary level to be covered in dander. So the lack of that protein in the saliva, despite the fact that they are very, very fluffy, actually makes them an ideal pet for people who are allergic to cats. And in fact, my fiance is very allergic to cats, like coughing, sneezing, eyes watering, etc. So what we did with these cats is we took him to a breeder for allergy testing, which, you know, effectively, effectively means he was handed an adult cat and instructed to bury his face in her fur. It was very, very funny, but he had barely a reaction. And I honestly thought it must be a myth when we were driving to the breeder. I thought, surely, surely this isn't true. You can't have a hypoallergenic cat. But yeah, it didn't bother him at all. And any other cat he encounters, coughs, sneezes, eyes watering, all of those uncomfortable things. So really, if you are allergic to cats and you've always really wanted one, but thought, oh gosh, I'll never be able to do that, Siberian cats are definitely hypoallergenic. The breeder said they work for probably about 75% of people, she guesses, who are allergic to cats. Totally go and get yourself allergy tested by snuggling a beautiful Siberian cat. Promise you, 75% of the time, it works. Certainly it works for my fiance and it was just so exciting when we realized we could get them. Number two, they make a lot of really weird, funny noises that you just would not expect from a cat. I mean, most cats have your kind of standard meow and that's it, but Siberians, they literally chirp. Like when they're content, they go from purring to making a noise that honestly sounds like a pigeon or a dove coo uh, cooing, and it is just absolutely adorable. Rafita, he's being so sweet. Look at this little boy. Look at this little boy keeping himself so clean. He's so clean. Look at that beautiful, fluffy Siberian fur. Always keeps himself so clean. Hello, the wizard. Yes, he's so happy there. He's so happy. Ooh. 
Number three, they are big. They are very, very big. They are the third biggest breed of cats after Savannah cats and Maine Coons. And in fact, they're so big, they don't stop growing until they're five years old. And they can grow up to about 10 kilograms for males, which is about 20 pounds for all you Americans. So they are, they are very big, fluffy cats. And we are certainly hoping that ours, who are both boys, continue to grow bigger and bigger and bigger to that 10 kilograms, 20 pounds, because I love big cats. They're just so snuggly. Number four, they have a very similar temperament to dogs. Now there is this myth about cats is that they're always really aloof and have a bit of a god complex and you never really know if they love you or if they really want something, you know. Well, there's a degree of truth to that. Generally with most cats, I don't find that to be the case. I think that is just an ugly rumor spread by dogs who were jealous of all the attention the cats were getting. And certainly Siberian cats in particular are especially affectionate and especially loving and have what you would typically expect from dogs in terms of their temperament. They will follow you around the house, they greet you at the door, they come and they jump over you and sniff you and Vladimir literally tries to groom my fiance and I, like he, he, he gives us licks in our foreheads like he does to Rafita. It's so adorable. So yep, they get on really well with children, they got on really well with other pets and if you are looking for, you know, the, the personality benefits of a dog but with the kind of lower maintenance care that you need for cats than a Siberian cat, definitely the way to go. And finally, number five, they are incredible jumpers and climbers. The Siberian cat's back legs are particularly long, longer than their front legs, which gives them a very kind of powerful muscular frame and a bit of a sort of elegant curve to their backs. Again, probably from having to clump through the snow in, in Russian winters for hundreds and hundreds of years. And that makes them the most fantastic jumpers. I mean, Vladimir in particular, you should see him get from one place to another. And it was very funny when he was a tiny little kitten, when all he wanted to do was explore and jump around, but he was just a bit, a bit too too small to get quite where he wanted to go. I once saw him launch himself into thin air from the top of the cat tree expecting to reach a chest of drawers on the other side of the room. Didn't happen, he fell to the ground. He didn't hurt himself thankfully, although my heart was in my mouth, but he learned that perhaps he should wait till he's a bit bigger to make that kind of jump. But certainly they are so elastic and so gymnastic. Um, there are videos of them doing backflips all over the internet. I highly encourage you to look them all up. But yeah, wonderful jumpers. They are the acrobat of cats. Acrocat, I suppose. That's really corny, but it works. Well, there you have it. Some really fun facts about Siberian cats. Honestly, if you were thinking of getting a pet, if you're thinking of getting a cat, if you're allergic to cats and you really want one, I would highly recommend Siberian cats. They are just the most wonderful creatures. And now, as promised, a video montage of Rafita and Vladimir. And please, please remember, by the way, I would love it if you subscribe to this, my new channel. And also, if you want to give me some topic suggestions uh, for th these kinds of fun videos on my new channel, then please pop them in the comments section. I would absolutely love to hear your suggestions. And let me know if you want to hear more cat content as well, because honestly, I'm perfectly happy to make it.
Yeah, darling. Oh, whoa, whoa. You're gonna bite mommy's pigs? Oh, yes. You're biting it. Don't bite mommy. Don't bite mommy. You're biting mommy's pigs. You're trying to break in. Yeah. <laughs> 